Hello everyone. So I hope you are in best of your health and enjoying your studies at the moment. So today we will solve this partial differential equation problem. It's a non-linear partial differential equation and we have to solve PQ equals to 1. So I hope till now you understand what is P and what is Q. But let's discuss it once again. P is your del Z by del X. While your Q is del Z by del Y. So how to solve this type of question? It's simple. Uh, just you have to make a function of uh, P comma Q equals to 0. This is the basic format. This question can be brought in this format. It is currently a function of P Q but we can make it better by taking 1 to the LHS. So P Q minus 1 equals to 0. So let's name this equation number 1. So you can directly write solution of equation number 1 is given by it is given by z equals to ax plus by plus c this is the solution uh, let's name this as equation number 2 now what we have is we don't want to write uh, three constant here, A, B and C. So what we do, we write A in form of B or B in form of A. And for that we have a relation where F of A comma B equals to 0. Now how to get this F of A comma B? There is a, a small uh, trick you can say that uh, replace P by A and your Q by B. So if you do so, so from equation number 1, we can write in place of P write A, in place of Q write B. So AB minus 1 equals to Z. So if I want to write uh, B in terms of A, so your AB equals to 1 or your B is 1 by A. Now we can use this relation. So we can write from from equation number which equation 2 equation number 2 if you look at this once again so we can write this as z equals to ax plus in place of b we can write 1 by a so that will become 1 by a times y plus your c this is your final answer. So it's an easy type uh, this is to solve. You have to do nothing. First of all, bring everything to the LHS and get a function of P and Q. Now you know how its solution looks like. Its solution is of the form Z equals to AX plus BY plus C. The only thing is that we want instead of three variables, uh, instead of three constant, we want two constant. And for that we have a relation f of a comma b equals to 0 which will help us to change either a in terms of b or b in terms of a. And for that you have to do only one thing replace p by a and q by b. Now why we do so? Uh, if you look at some insight, if you look at this uh, equation uh, which is z equals to ax plus by plus c. Now if you want to find del z by del x which is P also. 
what will that be equal to that is clearly equal to a and if you will find del z by del y from here so that will be equal to b this is the reason and b this is also equal to q because del z by del y is q this is the inside story that why we replace p by a and q by b i hope you understood this problem thanks and have a very very nice day